Some have been the kind of good nominees you'd expect a Democratic president to submit. Uh, they probably will be uh, more activists than I would prefer. Uh, many of them have very strong uh, liberal backgrounds. Uh, Judge Hamilton that will be voted on perhaps next week was not only worked for ACORN, he also worked for the ACLU. We've had three or four ACLU lawyers that have been nominated. Many have been active politically. But the question that we wrestle with is, uh, can you set that aside? If you get on the bench and put on the robe, uh, can you be objective and fair no matter which party comes before you, conservatives or liberals or Democrats or Republicans, or can you be fair and objective? And uh, I think that's the real test of uh, a good Congress, a good Senate, is are they able to make those decisions? And if they can't be objective, if they can't be fair, and if they're going to allow their political views to influence their decision, they should not be on the bench. Well, that's just not so. Uh, there's some, a few nominees so far that have had objections from our side, pretty firm objections, but uh, they've nominated less than half as many judges as President Bush had nominated at this time, and most of those are moving through the system. Uh, they are moving them to hearings in committee and uh, to the floor very rapidly, and in fact. And we've done all that with um, the uh, Supreme Court nomination. It took nearly a month so uh, out of our schedule. It's, uh, the Obama nominees are being treated fairly. I do. I do not believe the House bill can uh, be passed in the Senate. I certainly don't think so. And uh, this is a massive, massive governmental intervention in the one-seventh of our nation's economy, things that every American care deeply about. Uh, people are rightly very uneasy. And another thing, we have this unprecedented debt that we're facing with deficits uh, as far as the eye can see of averaging almost a trillion dollars a year for the next 10 years. We've never had anything like that. And uh, this is a new program that's going to cost a lot as they score it, and in reality will cost much more than they're estimating it's going to cost. It's a, yeah, I think basically we, there are already some good proposals out there from the Republican side, and uh, they may be an effort to just put them all in one proposal, but already there are good plans to uh, uh, help deal with the uh, pre-existing illness question. There are good plans to create interstate insurance, good plans to um, allow small businesses to come together, good plans to uh, equalize taxes uh, so that uh, individual businesses and small businesses can get the same tax breaks as big businesses. So there's a lot of good proposals that are out there that would not amount to a, a, a massive governmental intervention into the system. I think they need to continue to speak up. The reason this bill is, is really slowed down, the reason this uh, idea of a massive remaking of health care has hit a wall is because of the American people. Whether it's tea parties, letters to the editor, calls to us, calls to the congressmen and senators, <coughs> letters, letters to the editor, all of these things have indicated and, and are driving polling numbers that show a larger and larger group of people oppose it. So yes, in effect, the voice of the American people is about to be heard, I think.